Hi, sweeties. Um, I'm recording this straight to the web, straight to the Google, to the cloud, um, using an external mic. So I'm hoping to have some really nice um, <laughs> audio and, you know, whatever. It's it's nice to put things. It's like you record straight to the cloud. It's over with. Whatever you can do with this, what you like. And I'm done. I'm doing other things, <laughs> so I'm not too too worried. It's nice not to have to worry as an artist to worry about your public and how they're going to <laughs> receive it. So I just wanted to talk about the male lesbian identity. Um, and, you know, what what this is, is basically, I'm femme, you know, <laughs> I'm femme, I'm woman identified, I love it, I love being one of the girls, um, makes me really happy to be treated by, uh, like another girl, <laughs> by the girls, to, to pass through that invisible veil between male and female. Um... But, you know, I'm not transgender either. I, I, yeah, I love my body. Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm not... I don't think that a male body and a woman social role are linked. It's just a historical thing. I, I think someone with a male body can be a perfectly good woman. <laughs> can make a great woman. <laughs> Um, and and there's no no reason to go through this ritual of of electrolysis to remove all my body hair <laughs> to show to the world that I can be a good woman, um, <laughs> be one of the girls. Um, for me, it's about access to those roles, the the roles which <laughs> which you know of of you know of the kind of friendship that women can have. And that I can have with with other women who give me that privilege, who extend to me that benefit of the doubt that I can be a good friend. Um, it's about not stereotyping. It's about just being people. Um, but so <laughs> this wouldn't be a problem being femme and being male if if I liked boys. But the thing is, is I like girls. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Go figure. Um, so I can hang around in, in homonormative space and queer space as long as I don't mention the fact that I like girls. That makes me, you know, that that uh, ruins things. That's funny. I, even in straight society, if you know, if I'm gay, that gives them a label to put it, and then they can understand my femininity. If as long as I love boys, it's linked in the public consciousness, isn't it? Um, but no, I like girls, um, and so male lesbian that that makes sense. I'm male, <laughs> I'm woman identified. I like girls. That makes me a male lesbian. Um, you know, that was maybe my first identity when I when I first doubted, you know, when I when I doubted manness being part of man. Um, went <laughs> male lesbian. Um, it seems like a natural step. Yeah, you know, and it's like a double. You know, you get to be, you get to be queer too. You get to go beyond two bari binaries. You get to go from the male to the female and from the straight to the queer. It's kind of magic. It's down the rabbit hole. It's the other side of the curtain. Um, but you know, unfortunately, what I thought is that it might be accepted by other lesbians. But no. That's one thing you must realize if you're going to be a male lesbian, is that uh, lesbians will hate you. <laughs> they will hate you with a fury reserved only for male lesbians and and for MTS, male to female transsexuals who cl who who take a uh, dyke identity. So we're the class enemy. We are the males who are infiltrated. Um. But, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense um, for those people who are interested in us, um, bisexual women and straight women. Um, makes sense for them. So, yeah, you know, it's a way of, of, of signaling our availability <laughs> to other women for, for love relationships, but also a way of signaling our availability to other women for friendship. Um, 
for the kind of friendship that you reserve only for other women. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's uh, it's just the way that things are structured and patterned in our society. But but by creating this precedent of the male body to be part of that, part of that more um, conscious way of, be, of friendship, of being friendship and looking out for one another that I see in women's spaces and, and that I'm able to participate in when when man is not projected upon me. Um, I think our participation in that, it's, it's historic. It's historic steps that we're taking us male lesbians. So girls, <laughs> you, you get to it. Um, and um, I am, you know, that, that photo that I showed you at the beginning, that's, that's kind of my, my male lesbian um, outfit that I'm wearing dancing. It's, it's being an object desire for straight women, for bisexual women, who can uh, appreciate that we want to be um, appreciated for being pretty, for being beautiful. Um, that we want that too. <laughs> and then we don't want to play these these male roles, these emotionally stunted roles that we've been handed. So thanks. First experiment. It's been a while since I talked to you about gender. I'm just kind of feeling like sharing. I haven't been able to share about this. So thanks for sticking in there. <laughs>